Let's be honest, these are adorable. It's time for 32 completely charming home DIY projects that use lace by Ashley McGetrick. One, keep your books standing tall with these lacy bookends. Put an end to boring bookends. So this project can get pretty messy, so I definitely recommend heading to your backyard, garage, or your neighbor's driveway. Using a drop cloth and apron are essential for keeping you and your work area tidy. Two, lace up some votives to create this chic, gothic look. Or you can use colored lace to brighten things up. Three, use lace as a stencil to create stylish coasters. Soon, you'll be one of those people who forces everyone to use a coaster. Four, make these dainty lace bowls to hold all your favorite things. This DIY is easy as one, two, three. Turn your bowl upside down, soak the doily in fabric stiffener, and drape the doily on the bottom of the bowl. If you have a bowl and doilies already and don't want to purchase fabric stiffener, you can make your own. Just mix equal parts white glue and water. Five. Add a little lace to upgrade a basic throw pillow. This is so cute and lovely. Number six, dress up your dinner table with a charming lace runner. Basically, it's a bunch of doilies stitched together. So easy and cute. Step one, lay out your largest doilies first. Step two, fill in with smaller doilies. I used all different shapes and stuck with white and cream colors. Step three, Overlap the edges of the big and small doilies so that the small ones aren't always on top. And step four, tack the doilies together using string on the underside. I tied a double knot in several spots using thread and a needle. Seven, you can also make these whimsical hot air balloons by decoupaging doilies. I don't know why I would possibly need these, but I do. I do know you can make this if you visit the link pasted under the video. Eight, wrap gifts in leftover lace scraps for the most precious presents ever. This will undoubtedly turn you into the Pinterest queen of your friends group. Tip number one, use similar color paper and lace. Tip two, use straight pins to hold the lace in place. And tip three, use a wide ribbon for a neater presentation. Nine, stencil lace designs onto the cover of a journal to create a custom notebook. Because marble notebooks are so sixth grade. First, cut out a piece of lace slightly larger than the front of the notebook. Tape the lace firmly to the insides of the front page. Place a trash bag underneath the notebook to keep your workspace from getting paint on it. Also, tuck one edge of the trash bag between the front cover and the pages to prevent it from leaking through. Then, spray away! Once the paint begins to dry, slowly remove the tape and lace and let it continue to dry for the next couple of hours before using the notebook. 10. The same stencil concept can be used on bigger things like this coffee table. Spray paint can get the job done super quickly. First, cover the top of the table with lace and secure the edges underneath with masking tape. After making sure all the edges are secure, spray the legs a solid color to make the top pop even more. Next, begin spray painting over the lace about a foot away, covering the entire table. Let the paint dry for about an hour on a warm day, and after it's dry, slowly begin peeling the lace back to reveal your beautiful new table. 11. Dress the windows with lace curtains, or do something simpler, like number 12. Lace decorated recycled water bottles. Bonus! Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make these really adorable lace doily jars and or lanterns. And I just put a piece of wax paper down so I wouldn't mess up my scrapbook paper. So we're just going to need a jar that we want to decorate, some scissors, a larger doily and a smaller doily. And here are the sizes for both of them. And to decorate you're going to need some twine and a large paintbrush. And you're also going to need some Mod Podge wood. So you just want to take your larger one and cut it straight down the middle. And then cut about a fourth of your smaller one. Then you can just keep the extra pieces for other projects. 
So now you just want to take your doily and see if it's the size that you want for your jar. And if it's not, you can just cut a little more of it. So now this is where you're going to need your Mod Podge, but I don't have any, so just take a little bit of glue and mix it with an equal part of water. And if you're using your jar, you can just mix it inside of your jar, but if you're going to use it for like eating later, I suggest not doing this part. And if it's not the right consistency, you can just add a little more glue. So just brush this on the back of your doily. And then place this on the front of your jar. So then you just want to do the same thing with your smaller one. And then take a little bit more of your glue and water mixture and just brush it on the top of the doily. Decoration! Okay, so this is my favorite part, and this is where you're going to need your twine, and you're just going to cut off a fairly long piece of it so it can wrap around a few times. And now you're just going to tie a knot just once around the front of the jar, and it's good to have a jar that with a screwy lid so it'll hook on to the lip of the jar. And you're just going to tie this into a knot, and then wrap it around once more. And now we're just going to wrap it around a third time, but this time we're just going to thread it through the top loop so it creates kind of a rope effect. And this part can be kind of tricky to do because the twine kind of splits apart when you thread it through. Okay, so after you're finished that, you're just going to clip off the extra pieces of twine. And then you're going to clip off these little hairy thingies. I don't know why it does that, but you're just going to clip those off to give it a cleaner look. And just put some glue in the knot you made just so it won't come apart later. So now, um, this stuff is optional, but I thought it was really adorable. And I found these little miniature clothespins in the in Hobby Lobby like in the section where you get like popsicle sticks and stuff so I thought those were really really cute and then I made this tiny little ribbon bow and I got this from Puffy Teak's tutorial on YouTube I'll leave her link in the description so now I'm just writing a little note on a piece of paper and you can just glue the bow anywhere you want on the jar I suggest putting it where that really ugly knot is now just take your clothes pin and put it on the first piece of twine that you wrapped around because it's not going to fit on the second one. So then you're just going to put your note inside your clothes pin and this is what it should look like when you're finished. So this is the other jar that I made and I just used this for my pens and pencils and paint brushes and all my other clay tools and things. Okay so I just want to show you what these look like when the lights are off. And they look really beautiful when the lights are off. And I put these little tea light candles, I believe, inside of them. And I think they're really, really pretty. I think you should give it a try. And I'm in my bathroom in the dark with candles. So it's pretty spooky. So I'm just going to stop the video here. So yeah. Thanks for watching. 13. Tablecloth your dining table for a week or so and feel something positively changed with your mood. 14. Lace screen your cabinet windows if you want to be more than an organizing queen or princess. 15. Lace embellish shelves. Vintage lace, plates, chintz, teacups, pottery, and all sorts of pretty things all dwell happily together on the shelves. Done. Before you go, invest a few seconds to like or share this video if one or two ideas you just saw make you take action. Comment on it if you want to add new ideas related to this topic and press the subscribe button as we usually say on every video before we close it. Thanks for watching.